Hey everybody, this is Julie with Ready, Set, Stamp It .com. and I have been looking on the Split Coat Stampers board and saw a really cute um, birdhouse, so I'm going to try to make one without a template. So this is just a regular 3x5 card from Die Cuts with a View, and uh, I was just thinking I could probably like go like so, and then maybe cut it down here at the same angle. Let's see, I'm going to use this as my like little guideline here. Let's see if this works. If not, maybe it won't be the most brilliant idea, but yeah, I think that's pretty darn good. Now I'm going to add the part that will go here. So you guys are really going to see me wing it here. It's just something that I thought would be super cute. And let's see, I think what I'll do is kind of draw this out to where... I need it to be, so I'll need it to be this and this. So let me try this. Like I said, I'm completely winging this, but I hope I'm going to do okay here. Let's cut this here. And, you know, I just realized I'm cutting this green. I didn't mean to do this green. Dough. It's a dough moment for me. Okay, this is what I meant to do. Let's do it like that. I meant to do this, because I want that green for my grass. Not for the roof. Silly. Let's try this again. There we go. And on this side. This way, and then this way, and then back over here again. Okay, how did I do? You know, not too bad, not too bad for just free handing it. So let me clip this, clip this. This side looks a little bit longer. Okay, let's try this. Well, I'd say pretty darn cute. What do you guys think? This one still looks a little bit longer to me. Now we're a little more even. Okay, so that's, I think that looks good, like that. And now, for this other part, I said four and I just cut it five. Silly me. Tricks are for kids. Alright, let's try it again. Okay, so there's that. So now that's the grass. This is the house. And what do you guys think of those? Remember these flowers from the fall that I got? I wanted to use them, it didn't quite know where. And so I got an idea to use them. Let's see if I can get this thing off. I just need to move them off of here. Maybe like three is what I'm thinking. I'm obviously going to have to trim these down. Trim this down. We're going to go under here. Like that. And this one's going to go here. Put some shorter, some longer, I think, so they're not all exactly the same. And put one a little bit longer, which well underneath my table here. Okay. Like that. Isn't that looking cute? Okay. So now I need to make another stamp here. Okay guys, so here's what I was able to come up with. I went through my scraps, and I keep all my scraps and stuff like that. Now this is what I made those baby shower flowers uh, arrangements for. This is when I was doing um, I was doing painting, and I had to cut out these little circles. So these are just, I kind of keep all my little scraps in here. So anyway, I figured this would be like the opening to the 
birdhouse, but I needed a blue like this blue and didn't have it. Now this came from my set with those little seahorses. And so what I'm going to do is just trace this around here. If I had a hole punch, it would just make my life so much easier than this, but I don't. I didn't want to get out my Cricut. You guys will kind of see me go in spurts with the Cricut. The deal is, I do my paper crafting on my kitchen table because uh, my boys are in the media room, which is a pretty large room, and um, that's their bedroom. So someday when they grow up and move out, which I'm hoping won't be soon because I'm going to miss them, um, then I'll make that into my craft room. But until then... I'm really happy to have them. I don't mind coming to the kitchen table. So, Okay, so that's where I'll go with that. That's the little opening to the birdie house. Now, I was going to stamp my birdie blue. Another one of these things I got on Michael's. And let me open this here. Ugh, if I can. Oh, goodness sakes. I need this blue. I'm getting closer. Okay, so I need this blue here. And let's open up this. I'm going to stamp this little birdie in this color blue. This is a Stampin' Up! birdie. Isn't it too cute? So I'm going to stamp that here. Oh, look at that bright blue. Love that. And I noticed it got a little bit on the edges. So, just to prevent me... Although I am going to be cutting this out, so anyway, just stamp it anywhere, and if it got a little off center, it's actually okay, because I want to cut this birdie out and put them on mounting foam and have it pop a little bit. So let me do this here. I'm going to keep a little of the pink background, because I actually think it's really cute and it's perfect, because we have the blue little circle there that it's going to go against, so this will give it a little bit of a pop on the background of that. So you guys are really seeing me truly create when I just cutted that. Cutted. Huh, that's a very fancy word, you guys. Yeah, so let's try it. When I cut that birdhouse, I just looked at the card and thought, oh, you know what? That would be perfect. Oh, you guys, look how cute. Aww. Okay, so let me get, uh, you know what? I wanted to pop that up, so I think I'm going to have to get the pop thing and make a pop. Okay guys, so I ended up um, cutting that out, and I also took a little bit of this brush here, or this makeup sponge, excuse me, and did a little bit around the thanks. This thanks was from Clear Stamps, this little itty bitty set, and the set, the set is called, uh, I think it's called Hello Cupcake. I think I'm sure that's what it's called. Anyway, it's a really cute little small set. I think you guys have seen me use this before. And just use that there with a little birdie in the little house. But I just think this is just too cute. And with these flowers to add a 3D effect to this. Just darling. So I hope you guys enjoy it and have a terrific day everybody. Bye bye.